When it comes to making money online, there are shortcut strategies available that will maximize your income and minimize the time and effort you spend developing your online business. As you know, in order to make money in your chosen niche, you need to be able to offer your own info product. Not only is this a guaranteed method of generating passive, recurring income from a product you develop once, but it also allows you to penetrate your niche market in a different way by building a targeted mailing list of relevant leads. The problem comes into play when you don't have the money, time, or resources to develop your own product. Not only can creating an info product be exceptionally time-consuming, but if you don't have the necessary skills in order to write the content yourself, you may find it very expensive to outsource the work to an experienced freelance writer. But there's an even better, cheaper, and faster method of developing high-quality content that is guaranteed to be gobbled up by prospects within your market. Best of all, by tapping into this wealth of information and resources, you can maximize your outreach by diving into dozens of niche markets without ever having to be an expert on the subject. In fact, you can use this secret weapon to power up as many websites as you wish without ever having to type a line of text yourself or deal with costly freelancers. It's called Private Label and is often referred to online as PLR, which stands for Private Label Rights. With PLR, you are able to take someone else's work and transform it into your very own customized product where you can brand it as your own, attach your name to the material, and even modify, edit, or remove any content that is unwanted. You can also sell this content based on your own price structure and will be able to claim 100% of all profits generated from sales without having to share in the commissions, wait for payment from affiliate programs, or pay royalties to the original developer. But using standard private label won't give you the cutting edge over your competition. In fact, if you want to stand out from the crowd and generate as much attention, revenue, and traffic to your website by powering it up, with fresh private label content, you need to take things to a whole new level. I will show you exactly how I personally use private label content to build a complete powerhouse of profitable websites, all designed to funnel in hungry buyers and consistently build massive mailing lists of targeted leads. By using private label resources, not only will you be able to instantly begin building a solid platform of high profit websites but you will spend less time while making more money than other marketers who are spending countless hours creating their own info products or pouring thousands of dollars into development costs for projects that they aren't even sure will pan out. Private label is not only an effective method of generating consistent income from the sales of the products themselves, but you can use it to quickly test out markets and evaluate the profitability before spending the time and money creating your very own custom product. I will reveal the powerful strategies I've used over the years to quickly monetize private label while adding thousands of dollars to my back end with additional quick cash tactics that will further maximize your results. It's an exciting opportunity to take existing products and exploit countless niche markets quickly and easily. Knowing your rights. It's important that you thoroughly watch this chapter before you ever decide to use private label so that you will fully understand the terminology as well as the exact rights and restrictions often associated with various licenses and releases. To start, there are three different licenses common in the PLR industry. Resell Rights, or RR. With resell rights, permission is granted by the product owner that allows you to simply resell the product. You are not permitted to modify the content, edit the content, or add additional material to the content. In fact, you are rarely provided with the source doc file to be able to edit anything at all. With resale rights, you cannot pass on any rights to your customers, meaning that they will purchase only personal rights to the product with no additional rights. Resale rights are always subject to various terms and conditions provided by the product developer and can go so far as to how you are able to market the product, 
or distribute the product. With so many restrictions in place, it's often difficult to use resale right products to further your own brand, as it's quite common that the original developer will incorporate their name and website URL within the product itself. What does this mean? You will end up spending time and resources promoting someone else's brand rather than your own. When it comes to making money online with your own product line, you want to avoid products that only offer resale rights unless you intend to feature them only as added upsells or bonus products. Master Resale Rights, or MRR. With MRR, Master Resale Rights, you are usually allowed to both sell the product with personal rights to your customers or sell the rights as well so that your customer can also sell the product to their customer. Generally, products featuring MRR will cost more per license than those with RR due to the added flexibility offered with these types of releases. Private Label Rights, or PLR. With PLR, Private Label Rights, you are given the most flexibility of all, including being able to modify the document or content, add your name as the signature author, and sell and distribute the product however you wish. When purchasing any kind of license rights, you want to request clear documentation outlining your rights, so that in the event you are ever questioned about your authority to use or repurpose the content, you can provide a license created by the original developer outlining your options and permissions. If you ever purchase a PLR or MRR package that does not include a copy of your rights, do not use it in any way until you contact the developer directly and request a copy of the terms associated with the package. You always need to protect yourself from future claims or problems. When it comes to making the most money online using pre-created content, you will want to primarily focus on PLR, private label, rather than MRR or RR. The reason is a simple one. With PLR, you can focus on building your own brand, credibility, and reputation within your niche market by using the products and materials as if they were originally developed by you or your company. To do this, you will want to spend a few minutes tweaking each package that you intend to use. Assuming that the PLR content that you pick is likely to be unrestricted, the limit on what you can do with them is really down to your own imagination and abilities. As one example, it is very common to pick up PLR ebooks, which you can use in a wide variety of ways. One option is to take the book that you have just obtained before republishing it as is without making any alterations at all. This approach is generally not going to be particularly viable, however, because whilst in theory you can add your own name to the book as the writer and republish it immediately, the chances are that other people have already done exactly the same thing, probably many times over. Hence, what you are republishing is duplicate content, a book that is exactly the same as the one that has been published by one or ten or even a hundred other online entrepreneurs. Furthermore, you have added no additional value to the PLR pack, so what is the main selling point of your product? This is definitely something that you do not want to do, as it is a guaranteed way of acquiring dissatisfied, refund-seeking customers and represents a very quick way of destroying your reputation as well. On the other hand, there is nothing whatsoever to stop you rewriting significant chunks of the book before republishing it as your own work, but this is just one option. Alternatively, you might break up the text into articles, short reports, blog, or website content, e-zine articles, email, messages, or basically whatever else you can think of. In addition, there are many sites where you can find PLR article materials, in which case you can to an extent reverse the process by bringing these articles materials together into a short report or an ebook. Optionally, you might rewrite these articles so that they become unique. It should take no more than 20 minutes per piece before submitting your work to the article directory sites like these. EzineArticles.com 
ArticleCity.com forward slash article underscore submission dot shtml. IdeaMarketers.com ArticleDashboard.com SearchWarp.com and GoArticles.com forward slash index dot html. Submitting articles to directories like these is a superb way of driving targeted visitors to your business-enabled website, a tactic which thousands of marketers do every day with a great deal of success. However, you should always check that your article is unique before submitting by running it through Copyscape, and it is also necessary to make sure that you submit to eZine articles and wait for them to publish your work before submitting elsewhere. This is because they insist on publishing only unique work and because a human editor will review your submitted work. It generally takes two or three days before they publish. Other types of PLR content materials that are becoming more widely available are audios and videos, although the vast majority of PLR content still tends to be written materials. I will go into detail regarding the step-by-step -step system I use to repackage each private label release I use prior to distribution so that it appears to be an exclusive, unique offer. For now, let's take a quick look at the different PLR sources available online that provide consistent updates and fresh releases covering a wide variety of niche markets. One obvious example was highlighted in the previous chapter as many content writers offer PLR materials through Warrior Special Offers. Hence, you can use the forum as a buyer of valuable content rather than as a seller as well. Beyond this, there are plenty of websites where you can buy PLR materials in quite a few places where you can get such content for free. These sites are all great for buying PLR content. Some of the sites are monthly memberships whereas others sell PLR materials on a case-by-case -case basis, so take a look at all of them to find out what you're looking for. ThePLRStore.com forward slash index dot php YesContentIsKing.com Constant-Content.com InfoGoRound.com FreshPLR.com and EasyPLR.com. And these sites offer PLR materials for free. PLRArticleContent.com Resell-Rights-Weekly.com Paid and free levels. PLRWholesaler.com as a general rule, I am a big fan of using free materials and resources whenever possible, but when it comes to PLR content around which you are going to build your business, it often makes more sense to spend a little money than it does to use free materials. This is because of the scarcity factor highlighted in the previous chapter. It is a fact that the more scarce the content you are using is, the more value it has. This is one reason why many paid PLR content sites have a limit on the number of new members they accept, as by imposing this limit, they ensure that the content materials are not owned by every Tom, Dick, and Harry who uses the net. The problem here is, the more people that own a particular PLR ebook or special report, the harder it is for you to create unique content materials from that source. Hence, it takes a great deal of time to turn those materials into something valuable that you have a realistic chance of selling. In effect, it is a question of balancing the value of your time against money, because if you use free PLR materials, it is going to take you considerably longer to create something that is unique than it would if you paid for those materials from a restricted member site. Okay, so let's say that you have bought a niche targeted PLR ebook and that you want to start making money from it as quickly as possible. How do you do this? The quickest and easiest way of using your PLR product to start generating an income is to create a simple website to sell the ebook from. Make sure that enough of the book is rewritten for the final version to be unique 
and then start selling it for $17 or $27 per copy. In order to do so, the first thing that you need is a list of keyword terms related to the niche market on which your book is focused. These are the words or phrases that people use when they search the net for information of the kind that is featured in your book. Keywords are extremely important because they are literally the key to the success of your business. Say that you have got an ebook that is focused on the weight loss market, which is an incredibly popular net search. What you need to establish is what words or phrases people use to search for weight loss related information. And in order to do this, there are a couple of free tools that you should use. The first tool is the free Word Tracker Keyword Research Tool, with which you can find the 100 most regularly searched phrases in your market niche. According to Word Tracker, there are in excess of 40,000 Google searches every day for weight loss information, with the most popular search term being weight loss itself. However, this is not a phrase that you can use in your own marketing efforts because of the competition levels indicated by a Google search. There are nearly 66 million results listed by Google for this particular term, which is far too many for you to stand a realistic chance of achieving a decent search result page position. However, by running a similar competition search for each term that Word Tracker produces, you should be able to find weight loss related phrases where the competition levels are reasonable. You are ideally looking for 30,000 or less competing results when you run an exact match search, i.e. your search term in inverted commas. According to the chart in an earlier screenshot, this phrase attracts over 700 searches a day. Consequently, it would definitely be a keyword phrase that you would add to your list, as would Dottie's weight loss zone with 696 searches a day, because again, the competition is not too tough. Move down the word tracker table and you will find many keyword terms of this type. However, the disadvantage of using the free version of word tracker is that it only produces the top 100 keyword phrases for your market which might mean that you only find two or three keyword terms that you can use after running your competition checks. Consequently, the other free tool that you should look to build a more comprehensive list of keyword phrases which you use in your marketing efforts is Google's own free keyword research tool. With your keyword list in place, the next thing is to register a domain name from which you can sell your new book. If possible, you should register a domain name that uses one of your primary keyword phrases as this is one of the most effective ways of making sure that the search engines find your site for the keyword which you are targeting. There are plenty of sites where you can register a new domain name, but amongst the online marketing community, one of the most popular is GoDaddy.com. As every domain on the net is completely unique, you will probably find that the most popular keyword phrases that you might target as a domain name will already have been taken. Consequently, you might need to add dashes between the different words in order to grab a domain name which is appropriate to your site. You will note that at the time of writing, the .info domain name is incredibly cheap, which if money is an issue, might make it appealing to use this particular form of domain name. However, if you can afford to buy the .com version, it is generally more effective to do so and more professional as well, primarily because most searchers still think of the internet as the .com world. Okay, with your domain name registered, you need to set up a hosting account with the $7.95 HostGator baby shared account option being a firm favorite for online marketers. The final thing that you need to do is to tie your domain name together with your host, which you can do by following the instructions for changing the name servers that you will find approximately two-thirds of the way down this HostGator support page. Next, you need to create a simple website from which to sell your product. Keep this as simple as possible, with one option being to search Google for, before downloading and installing, a free sales page template. 
Alternatively, you could install and use WordPress with pre-sales optimized themes, templates, being available on all these sites at the time of recording. WP-SalesLetterTheme.com FlexibilityTheme.com Not a sales page, but easy to use as one. CoreyMiller.com forward slash 2-more-sales-page-free-wordpress-themes-released I love you wp.com forward slash wp dash market dash template dash wordpress dash theme dot html. The link is at the bottom of the page for this last one. Install your new sales template or theme to your site and add a thank you page from where anyone who buys your product can download it. Add your PayPal buy now button to your main page and link that button to the download page on your site so that anyone who buys will be immediately redirected to the download by PayPal. Okay, you are now ready to start selling, which means sending targeted visitors to your site as quickly as possible. There are several ways that you can do this, all of which are focused on using your keyword terms and promotional materials that you publish on external sites. The first thing you can do is create a very short video that you post to YouTube. Find two or three useless facts or bits of trivia that are somehow related to your niche and create three questions based on those facts. Next, type the simplest question into the first slide of a PowerPoint or an open office presentation. On the next slide, add the answer with the third slide being the next question followed by the answer and so on. Leave a few seconds between each slide in your video to give the viewer time to think, i.e., get them involved. However, the answer to the third and most difficult question should not be included in this video, but instead post it on your site. After pulling in anyone who sees this video with the first two questions and answers, you then send them to your site to get the final answer by including the URL and a specific instruction telling them to visit your site in the last slide of your presentation. Use free screen capture software like Cam Studio to make this video, and don't forget to include a couple of your major keyword terms in both the title of your video and your description. However, make sure that the first line of your description is the URL of your site, including the HTTP and WW bit at the beginning, as doing this ensures that you add a clickable link from your video to your site. Next, find the most popular forum sites in your niche by running a Google search for your topic plus forums. For instance, continuing with the earlier weight loss example, you can see that there is no shortage of forums in this particular market. Check the rules of the most popular forums, confirming whether you can use a signature file or not. If so, this is another highly targeted way of advertising your business as your signature file is a short two or three line description of what you do in which you are usually allowed to add an active hyperlink to your site. Every time you add a post or start your own thread in this form, your signature file will be shown and read by other members who are already extremely interested in the topic of your product. Thus, adding a signature file in this way is a highly effective strategy for sending super targeted prospects to your site very quickly. Another thing that you can do is visit targeted blogs in your market sector to leave comments on them. If you make sure that these comments are both valid and valuable, you are adding fresh new content to the blog, so it is almost certain that the owner will publish your comment. Use Google Blog Search to find niche targeted blogs in your sector and set aside some time every day to investigate and comment on blogs as appropriate. Another thing that you should always do is make sure that you post information to the major social bookmarking sites every time you add content either to your own site or to a site like YouTube. Use a resource like Social Poster or Social Marker to speed up the submission process, making sure that every time you submit information, you use two or three of your main keyword phrases as tags. However, although it might be very tempting to do so, 
Do not submit information about every piece of content you publish to every one of the social bookmarking sites because that begins to look like spam. Instead, choose a half a dozen social sites at random every time you want to make a submission and change the sites that you are submitting to every time you do so. One thing about this particular strategy is that what you have just created is essentially a fully fledged online business. Consequently, whilst you can use this particular tactic for generating cash fairly quickly, it is also highly effective for generating money over the longer term as well. For this reason, you might also use longer term traffic generation tactics such as article marketing to bring targeted visitors in relatively slowly knowing that the traffic flow will continue for months or even years into the future.